Find the derivative of the function y equals the natural logarithm of the square root of 1 plus x over 1 minus x, and simplify the result. Well, before we do any work, let's prep this thing. Notice that the logarithm is missing its parentheses, and there's a giant radical in this expression. So this is ln of the expression 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x, all raised to the 1 half power. Of course, this doesn't fit all of my rules for prep. There's still some denominators in here. So let's clean this up a little bit further by expressing this as a product rather than a quotient. So we're going to have in, uh, the natural logarithm. And then inside the parentheses, this is 1 plus x to the 1 half power times 1 minus x to the minus 1 half power. That's it expressed as a product. Now notice that I, this is a logarithm of a product. So I could use the rules of logarithms to split this apart even further. And so as, far, as much as I can simplify, I'm going to do. There's this product right here, which means I can write this as two logarithms. The logarithm of 1 plus x to the 1 half power added to the logarithm of 1 minus x to the minus 1 half power. So that's a little bit expanded. But again, notice that there are powers here. And so I can pull the powers out. This is 1 half the natural logarithm of 1 plus x. And then pulling out the other power, minus 1 half the natural logarithm of 1 minus x. And that's as far as the rules of, rules of logs will take me. So we're prepped here. Now we're ready to take a derivative. So on the first piece, the 1 half comes along for the ride. We have to use the chain rule here. The derivative of ln of blank is 1 over blank times the derivative of blank. The blank is 1 plus x, and the derivative of that is 1. So then we have the minus 1 half comes along for the ride. The derivative of ln of blank is 1 over blank times the derivative of blank. The blank is 1 minus x, and the derivative of that is minus 1. So if we clean up the individual terms, we're going to have 1 over 2 times, or sorry, 1 half times 1 plus x. And they'll have minus, minus, so positive 1 half times 1 over 1 minus x. Notice that there's a 1 half common to both terms, so we can pull it out and have 1 half 1 over 1 plus x plus 1 over 1 minus x. And something else is common. That's good enough for me for right now.